All right, so this one wasn't planned. This is just came to me while I was talking about the other video, and somebody mentioned in a comment I think on YouTube, and this is something I think I, I've been talking, I've been meaning to do for like a half a year, I just never got around to it. I think I think part of the reason why is because I, I wanted to confirm it. Like I couldn't, I had to see it a, a couple of times before I realized what was up. Like so, there's a, there's the two K283s that are you know common in the United States. Uh, the K twenty three that comes out of the EP three, and the K twenty three that comes out of the RSX base, right? Um, so what's the differences, right? Uh, there's not a lot, but there are a couple, and they are significant. Uh, I guess not a significant enough uh, difference to make like a big power jump or anything, because I don't even see. Um, there might be a torque difference, but I'm not. I don't really know. I haven't really paid close enough attention. But the if you have an option to buy a K twenty three, let's say. Somebody selling one local now. If it's I don't know, I still wouldn't pay anything extra. But it's worthwhile to get the EP threes K twenty three. One the first thing is obvious is the manifold. We all know that the, the fucking plastic manifold comes on a base model, and we know that we actually get a, an actual metal manifold that's much better flow on the uh, EP three, right? And I'm pretty sure it's the PRB intake manifold, which I'm also pretty sure is the manifold that comes on the K twenty eight two, right? And then accompanying that better flowing uh, intake manifold is the uh, RBC VTC cam gear. That also comes stock on the EP3 um, K23. So now I'm not sure if I've talked about this before and I might talk about this another time when I have my, my, my thoughts better together. Um, is that the, the RBC cam gear, if you're gonna be, like if you have a K24 or whatnot and you're, you're trying to upgrade to the RBC cam gear, the only way you can really make any kind of beneficial upgrades is to also upgrade the intake manifold. You need better flowing intake manifold, do it. So if you have a K24 and you're just, you know, that's just one of those things you're doing as like a bolt-on, you need to go with the uh, intake manifold as well. And I know I just gave that away right here, but I'm still gonna make a separate video about it because titles matter. Titles matter in searchability. So anyway, um, the other thing that's different about the, I think the last thing that's different about the K283 off the top of my head is the the oil pump. The oil pump that comes in the EP3 is the same one as the Type S. So the three major differences are the intake manifold, the cam gear, and the oil pump. So those are things to consider if you're looking around the market for K283 and you happen to see one, if you have the chance to get one of those, that would be the one to go with. You have more stuff that you can get off of it that's useful for a rebuild or whatnot. <clears throat> All right, guys. Uh, wow, three minutes. It seems like forever. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching, and uh, peace. Oh, I guess you can, in the comments, if I've left anything out that you're 100% sure of, go ahead and drop it in the comments below. But I'm pretty sure that those three things are the only major differences between the two.